All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm just breaking down Apple for you. We're in the after hours here. It's almost 8 p.m. And look at Apple creeping up to this 180. Now, why is this significant? Look at the five day chart. I'm going to go under drawings, horizontal. We're going to draw a resistant point. And right here, we have some resistance a little bit below this. So we will see if it's going to hold. Apple is struggling to break 179.6 but right now it's starting to break over and creep over so this could be interesting for tomorrow tomorrow i think we're going to get a potential move up to 181.5 and we will see where it goes from there but this was all resistance in this area which i'm highlighting and then right here there was also more resistance so this is something that i want you to just at least be aware of if you're trading apple because this will be interesting tomorrow to see where it's actually going to go. But look at this whole area of resistance. So just on the five day, you had uh, resistance here, resistance in this whole section, resistance here, more resistance here, and then look, resistance here, and now it's starting to break out. If tomorrow, if we can get a move, so let's zoom in a little bit, we'll see what happens in the pre-market, but if Apple can shoot up a little bit, and then in the market, pull back to this level at 179.6 and then start making a move higher. That's the goal for tomorrow when it comes to Apple. And then we can hit that next resistance level, which I was mentioning, which would be right up here at the 181.5. So that's the goal. We're going to see if it uses this resistance, hits this resistance. And now it's breaking through. We'll see if we can get a pull up in the pre-market, get a nice healthy pullback to the 179.6 and then blast back up. So that's what I'm looking at for Apple. I'm trying to see if we're gonna make that continuous move higher, but this is definitely a potential move here where we could see all the way up to 181.5, which would be a nice move up. Let me just show you on the one month because if you look at the one month chart let's get rid of all of this resistance so you guys don't have to look at that look at this resistance down so we're at 196 we sold all the way off all the way down to 10 10 percent then it's been holding this line this whole 176 area 177 you have support all in this whole area so i'll draw it out just so you can see but right here, all of this is all support, this whole area right here. And now we're starting to see a stronger leg up. And the volume coming in with this nice green bar really gives me hope that we're going to see some leg higher up here now and retest this 181.5. So that's what I'm looking for for Apple right now, see if we can get that move. Next, I just want to go to Tesla real quick. Tesla made that low of 233.76 and the last five days we have this big trading range of 252 all the way down to 233 so like i said of that i was talking like last you can check out my previous video i was saying if 238 broke we're going to start heading lower and we have found our bottom temporarily when we went down from 238 all the way down to 233 which is two percent down now we just have to see where is it going to go. So just be very careful. I am expecting if we wake up and we get a nice pullback, looking to rebuy the retest at 235. 235 is the reason I'm saying this is because if you look right here, right here we had a bounce. We had a nice consolidation in this area. And if you look closely, let me get rid of this RSI just so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, let me just move that really quick just so we can see the charts only on this. Look at these wicks. These are bullish wicks. So the sellers tried pushing this down, but there's no selling there's no selling pressure. The buyers came back in at 233.76 all the way up to 234.9. So right here you have that thin wick, right here you have that thin wick, and then you have that power candle right here. And that really made the difference for the move up. And then you had that nice trend line forming up until it was broken at the 240. So that's really what I'm looking at. Moving forward, I want to see if we get a nice pullback all the way back down to 235. And this can easily happen tomorrow. 
all the way back down to that 235, and then we'll see if we can start to dip play this. But I'm not thinking we're out of the woods yet with Tesla, because if you look at the overall chart, we've really just sold off big time. If you if you just draw this right here, we haven't broke this trend line of just going downtrend. But we hit this support level at 233, which we see right here we have mapped out. So it's definitely something to pay attention to and watch as you're going.